ever wondered how zebras, the black and white beauties of the wild, continue their lineage? It's a fascinating tale of survival, a dance of nature that's as intricate as their unique stripes. This isn't just a curiosity, it's crucial knowledge for conservation efforts. By understanding their reproductive cycle, we can better protect these majestic creatures and ensure they roam the earth for generations to come. So let's dive into the world of zebra reproduction. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of zebra reproduction. Unlike many animals, zebras don't have a specific mating season. That's right, these black and white equines don't play by the rules when it comes to romance. They don't circle dates on the calendar or wait for a particular season to roll around. Instead, zebras have the freedom to mate throughout the year, whenever the mood strikes them. This flexibility is a testament to their adaptability, a key trait that aids their survival in the ever-changing environments they inhabit. Now, while zebras can mate year-round, there is a notable peak in their mating activities during the rainy season. This is not out of a love for the rain, but rather a practical response to the abundance of food and water that the rainy season brings. With plenty of nutritious grasses to graze on, zebras are in prime condition for mating, and the survival rates of their offspring are significantly higher. This peak in mating during the rainy season also aligns with the gestation period of a zebra, which is roughly a year. By timing their mating to coincide with the rainy season, zebras ensure that their foals are born during the next rainy season, when food and water are once again plentiful. This smart adaptation increases the chances of survival for the newborns, giving them a strong start in life. The flexibility of zebras' mating habits is a fascinating aspect of their biology. It's a perfect example of how animals adapt their reproductive strategies to suit their environment. Zebras' ability to mate throughout the year, peaking during the rainy season, helps them thrive in regions where resources can be unpredictable. This adaptability, combined with their strong social structures, ensures the survival of the species, even in the face of environmental changes and challenges. So it turns out, when it comes to matters of love, zebras don't follow a calendar. They choose the timing that works best for them and their survival, proving once again that in the wild, adaptability is key. Now that we know when zebras mate, let's delve into how they court each other. The courtship of zebras is an intricate dance, a fascinating interplay of pursuit and acceptance. It begins with the stallion, the male zebra, who takes the initiative. He picks out a mare, a female zebra, usually one that is not already accompanied by another stallion. The chosen mare is then pursued passionately and relentlessly by the stallion, who uses both visual and vocal cues to express his interest. This pursuit is not a quiet one. The stallion lets out loud, high-pitched calls, as if he's announcing his intentions to the world. The sounds he makes are unique to him, a sort of zebra love song sung only for his chosen mare. Alongside these vocal expressions, the stallion also employs physical gestures. These include playful biting and nuzzling. It might seem aggressive to us, but in the world of zebras, it's a tender form of courtship. The stallion nuzzles the mare's neck, nibbles at her mane, and sometimes even playfully chases her around. It's a way to get her attention, to show his interest, and to establish a connection. But it's not all about the stallion. The mare also has a say in this courtship dance. She may respond to the stallion's advances with her own set of signals. If she's interested, she may nuzzle back, engage in the playful chase, or even return his bites with her own. It's her way of saying, I see you, and I'm interested too. However, if she's not interested, she'll make it clear. She may ignore his advances, walk away, or even kick out at him. It's a clear message to the stallion. Not interested, try again. In the end, the courtship ritual of zebras is an intricate dance of pursuit and acceptance. It's a testament to the complexity of zebra social interactions and their unique way of expressing interest and affection. A zebra's courtship is a fascinating dance of pursuit and acceptance. Once a zebra has won over his mate, a new life begins to form. The gestation period of a zebra is a fascinating process that lasts about a year. That's right, a full 365 days. An entire year of nurturing, growing, and waiting for the arrival of a new zebra foal. In this time, the female zebra, or mare, carries and nourishes the foal. Her body changes to accommodate this new life. She becomes rounder as the foal grows inside her. It's a testament to the resilience and strength of these magnificent creatures. They continue their daily routines, grazing, running, and being part of the herd, all while carrying a growing life inside them. The gestation period isn't just about physical changes. It's a time of preparation. The mare's body is preparing to give birth, and her instincts are gearing up to protect and care for her foal. It's a time of anticipation for the entire herd. A new zebra means a new member of the family, a new part of the community. 
As the gestation period progresses, the mare starts to slow down. She'll spend more time resting and less time running. This is nature's way of ensuring that she's ready for the big day. As the birth approaches, she may separate from the herd, seeking a quiet, safe place to welcome her new foal into the world. The gestation period is also a time of vulnerability. Predators are always a threat, and the mare must be vigilant. But zebras are resilient creatures. They are built to survive, to endure, and to bring new life into the world, even in the face of adversity. So, for an entire year, the mare carries her foal, nourishes it, and prepares for its arrival. It's a cycle of life that's as beautiful as it is profound, a testament to the strength and resilience of zebras. After a year of waiting, a new zebra is ready to make its entrance into the world. The moment has arrived, a new zebra is about to be born. When it comes to the birthing process, zebras have some unique attributes. A pregnant zebra will isolate herself from the herd, seeking a quiet, secluded spot to give birth. The birthing process for zebras is typically quick, lasting anywhere from a few minutes to an hour. Remarkably, the newborn zebra, known as a foal, is born with its eyes open and fully formed, ready to face the world. But what happens immediately after birth is nothing short of extraordinary. Zebra foals are precocial, meaning they are born relatively mature and mobile. Within just an hour of being born, these little miracles of nature can stand up on their own. They're not just standing still either. They're running, keeping up with their mothers and the rest of the herd. This ability to get up and run so quickly after birth is a vital survival mechanism. In the wild, zebras are constantly on the move, migrating in search of food and water. They also have to evade predators, and a newborn that can't keep up is an easy target. So the ability to run within an hour of birth is not just impressive, it's essential for survival. The bond between a mother zebra and her foal is strong and immediate. The mother zebra will keep her foal close, allowing it to imprint on her unique stripe pattern. This helps the foal recognize its mother among the many zebras in the herd. The mother also keeps other zebras away from her newborn for the first few days, ensuring that her foal has imprinted on her correctly and won't follow another zebra by mistake. The birth of a zebra is a testament to the remarkable adaptability and resilience of these beautiful creatures. It's a cycle of life that continues to amaze and inspire, reminding us of the incredible intricacies and wonders of the animal kingdom. From the moment they are born, zebras are ready to take on the world. We've taken a fascinating journey through the life cycle of a zebra today. We've delved into the intriguing mystery of their mating habits, explored the nuances of their seasonal mating patterns, and observed the compelling rituals of courtship. We learned that the zebra's mating season isn't merely a time for reproduction, but a complex dance of behaviors and signals that serves to strengthen the social bonds within the herd. We discovered the intricacies of the zebra's gestation period, a time of anticipation and preparation that lasts for nearly a year. We witnessed the miraculous moment of the birth of a zebra foal, a testament to the resilience and strength of these extraordinary creatures. We came to understand that the process of zebra reproduction is a cycle, a rhythm that echoes the beat of the wild African plains. But why does all this matter? By understanding the reproductive processes of zebras, we can better appreciate their unique adaptations and survival strategies. This knowledge is vital for conservation efforts, as it allows us to protect and support the continuation of their species. So the next time you gaze upon a zebra, remember that each stripe is not just an aesthetic marvel, but also a symbol of a remarkable life cycle. Remember, every zebra stripe tells a story. And now, we know a little more about the story of their reproduction.